Good evening, guys. Kind of Tortoise Capital Nightly Strategy Podcast for October 21st, 2024. We've got a couple of sniper trades of the day to work with. Uh, NVIDIA, one of our focus stocks, three minutes. This is yesterday's Friday's closing compression. Today's open, the opening range three. So now I'm ready to go long if it breaks out or if it breaks down, I'm ready to go short. It breaks out to the long side. I have my standard dollar risk on it. The R10 rolls over. So now I accelerate my stop to the skin of the dragon, spine of the dragon, if you will. Uh, for about one and a half R, that was enough this morning. There's been little to no follow through, so I'm trying to get my get my game on early. Uh, next one up. Uh, this is DIA. This is on a ten minute. So this is Friday's move that terminated here, right at the Bollinger Band main. This is the, uh, I'm sorry, terminated here. This is the OR10. It breaks down below, that should be red, sorry. We got, we're short there. Sorry about that. Standard risk. And that should be where we cover. A one, two, three recovery at the skin of the dragon. One, two, three. And that's about a three R. And that's uh, net four for the day. The rest of the day was kind of sideways grinding. So just leave it alone. Uh, shifting to the daily report. Approaching the madness and chaos of the elections. It's our sniper trade of the day. The 150-day look back, we're right near the peak. These are all daily bars. We're right at the top of that 150-day all and all-time high. That's what the 30 days, last 30 days looks like. Um a breakdown below the PSAR would trigger a tactical short intraday. But you have to like the long side here. That's what the intraday trade in the S&P looked like on 30-minute bars. That harsh sell-off that we capitalized on in DIA. And then a recovery back to the three-day and five-day anchored VWAPs. Kind of just marking time, waiting for the election. Bullish normal, strongly overbought, a little bit of a pullback. The risk off means that we should not be taking large swing positions. We should be being tactical until the election passes. A buy on dip opportunity in Europe. Main Street is beating um, the tech levelies here. NVIDIA is just crushing it to all-time new highs. Uh, here's NVIDIA at 143, all-time new high, just Hulk smash. Uh, Merck suffering, Texas Instruments suffering by comparison. Tesla's in a holding pattern. It's NVIDIA and Palantir right now getting the work done. Uh, in the ETFs, just minor weaknesses in the globals. Plenty of auto framers. Everybody's holding their breath, waiting for the election. Uh, lots of auto framers and squeezes. I like Tesla on the squeeze. U.S. Tech and Caterpillar, both on the squeeze. Intel's intriguing at 1.9 to 1. Being dominated by the summer and fall right now. Yeah, as we're at all-time highs, that's not a surprise. You can see there was much more weakness then strength um, in both the indexes and the 
and the symbols. Uh, Intel was pretty good. NVIDIA was great. U.S. Steel is in the wheelhouse as well. Silver is the defensive play of choice. The intraday trading value symbols combine the best of large average range percentages and a strong frog quality number. So Devon Energy, uh, Tesla, Palantir are the leaders in the pack right now. Volatility declining, the quietude waiting for the elections. That'll change on about November 3rd. Uh, and the Z-scores at the upper, land, uh, upper end of normal, all compressing, price compression. That's marking time. Only the true leaders are leading right now. Otherwise, uh, I'm minimizing my overnight risk. All right, that's everything for today. We'll get this published and posted. Thanks for your kind attention, and we'll get them tomorrow. Had two really great sessions in the uh, in the small group coaching. You really should consider joining. The historical files that you have access to are extraordinary.